Hey guys, we've got our DaVinci printer here in the corner here. Now, you can, what I've been doing is hacking it to get my PLA filament coming through the back end. Also, I've dremeled out the side here so I can, and I removed the back panel so I can remove that SD card. Obviously, when it's powered down. Over here, I've got my Cura. Cura software, which is great for slicing. Uh, it works a lot faster than Slicer. And I've got all the settings in here set up for the DaVinci printer. So if we go here to machine settings, you can see I've got the overall dimensions, material diameter, G-code player rep wrap. Now this front end of the G-code and the back end of the G-code, I actually got off the sample file which is on the SD card so you just open up the sample file and you can get that front end and back end of the G codes now uh, I've got some work to do this print is kind of partially successful I think the temperature wasn't high enough so it was struggling at some points and I noticed that it was still subtracting length off my uh, chip. So basically I've got an empty uh, cartridge sitting here with a chip sitting in it. Now you can see here it's got full length and I'll tell you how I got that. Basically I had to do the, the chip reset. So if I go back to here, there's a really good instructable here on instructables. Okay, now he just shows you where to solder. So basically you've got positive 5 volts ground and signal. And that goes to pin 7 on your Arduino chip. He uses an Arduino Uno. I managed to find one of these ones from, it's got the Nano 328P. Now you only have to uh, play a video to or Google online the data points for your 5 volts and your ground and the code is down here this is the one I use I just downloaded that one now initially I tried to do this through Arduino 1.6.10 and got a whole bunch of error messages so what I've done is I just jumped over to another computer and I've loaded up the the new option which is Arduino Online or Arduino Web and it looks like this uh, I just connected the board, it's actually unplugged right now but on the pull down menu you can select board and port once you've plugged it in uh, you load your, your uh, sketch file which is this one here and verify it and it verified successfully and then loaded it now here's my board over here this cable, it's unplugged right now. Basically, you have to attach that chip pins. Now, you can't see detail here, but it actually has 5 volt ground and digital pin 7 uh, on this board. You can actually clearly see it on the Nano. Um, don't know how good that camera is. And you make all those connections to the chip before you power this on. Then you power it on, and then you load, verify and download that code. Uh, this only requires a small download to get started. Sorry, it's uh, out of focus right now. And um, you create an account and it's good to go very, very quick and very successful. So here's my payoff. I've got cartridge stats. Uh, now this is just because it's not sitting properly. I'll wiggle this thing around a bit. Um, I usually get... There you go. So it's just not sitting right and that's because I don't have this piece locking down and forcing it down on the contacts. But as you can see, my chip has been reset successfully. Thanks for watching, guys.